Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be installing this right here. This is your Nest thermostat. So first of all, what we have to do is just notice the connections here. Plus, what we really want to do is take a look and decide whether you guys are going to use these plates or not. So downstairs, we're going to take a look at your thermostat and whether you guys want to use this. This is optional. You could just install this on your wall. And that's because some of you don't really have holes to cover up. However, if you have holes to cover up, this plate is very, very useful. However, maybe you wanna touch up those holes later on or you wanna touch those up beforehand, then you don't really need this. So keep that in mind, you don't need this. The installation for this would be kind of like this and you would put it against your wall. I don't particularly like this. I'd rather just fix up my wall. However, if I had too many holes there, then I would use this plate for sure. Now I wanna show you the screws that came with this. So if you're gonna install that wall plate, then you're gonna use these little guys, all right? Besides these. So right now, what I'm gonna show you is just a simple way, because it looks a lot better if you don't install that plate. And we're just gonna install it using these two guys right here, which should be enough in order to install our nest. So we're gonna use this, and this did come with our nest. So this, by the way, you can turn it around, and you do have this head and this flat head. So you do have those two, and this is magnetic, by the way. So luckily, we do have this that came with it, so don't worry about it. That's all really you need, and you need to turn off the power for your house. Now, before we keep going, just wanna show you this right here. Now, the wires. I'll show you the wires in just a second. Let's just take this off. And yeah, we do have to turn off the power, obviously, to install this just for safety. Now, some of you may just have a wire that says R, it doesn't say RH or RC. You're just gonna attach that R wire to RH. That should work just fine. And if you're wondering what RH and RC means, well, this would be for your heating that would be cooling. However, a lot of you just have the R one, that's fine. It can go to either or, but a lot of people just prefer to just hook it up to RH. And something else that you may want to download right away is your Nest app. So you can do that on your phone or tablet. Just open up your Nest, and from there, I'm gonna teach you how to add this into your Nest account and get all set up. However, for now, we're just gonna leave this as is. I do have a camera, so that's why you guys see this. So we're gonna add in this other Nest product in here. Something else you may want to add into it and download an app is Google Home. And that's because all Nest products are now compatible with Google. Google bought them out. So just download the Google Home app as well so you guys can control everything from there. Anyways, for now, we're just gonna head downstairs and get started with this. All right, so first things first, your, right here, your power. We gotta turn it off. So right here, I can see that the AC, I can turn this off and maybe it's gonna shut down my heating and everything. However, I'm not 100% sure because nothing's really labeled that well. It does tell me that my furnace is here as well. So technically, I could shut down a few things and see if that works. However, if you're not sure, if you have labels this messy like I do, there's my main power. Just turn it all off. Yes, everything will shut down in your house, no electricity, but that's the safest way really. So make sure you turn it off. I'll show you right now how you would go about this. So you, for example, if you do know which one it is, so this my AC, this is um, furnace and laundry room. That's how I would turn it off. I could do the washer, why not? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have, it doesn't have anything to do with that. But anyways, that's how you guys would turn it off. You would do the same thing up there. This is my main for the entire house, if you're not 100% sure. So here is my old thermostat. And what I like to do to test this out and see if my power is actually off is turn on the fan, turn on heat or cool and test both out. If I do hear it working or if I feel any wind coming out, that means I did not turn off the power correctly. I should turn off the power for the entire house. So that's a way to test out if everything's working fine. Other than that, right now, you guys can just go ahead and uh, we're just gonna set this on auto and we're just gonna turn this off. Although at this point, it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna take off this cover like so. All right, so now that we took that off, we do see all these wires. And you guys got this card that came with your nest. These are stickers. We can take off these stickers and then just apply them to each one of these before we take them off. And that's just so we remember what's what. Obviously, at this point in time, also take a picture of this so you remember. But hey, always 
keep one of these, just take out these stickers and place them wherever it makes sense. So for example, for this R right here, I'm just gonna put RH on it and I could just stick it on. However, we're gonna take off one at a time and then apply a sticker on it as well. Now in this case, we do have a flat head. So remember, we do have a flat head and we have this and this came with your Google Nest Mini. So we're just gonna take this and unscrew this. Once we do that, we can just pull this out. And here we go. Now something I suggest doing is obviously once you take out a, one of these wires, put one of these labels on it. So this is for my R, however RH or RC will work. So I'm just gonna leave this on there. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing, exact same process for every single one of these. All right, so at this point, what we can do is just patch up these holes right here and then keep installing. However, most of you just wanna install right away. We're gonna do it right away. And uh, if these really bug you, if there's more holes around, just use the plate that came with this. And you do need to make these wires straight. So if they're a little bit too bent over, Google does tell you to just strip these guys apart and make a new one. However, don't really have to, not everybody will have a bunch of wire. So what I suggest is just taking this and making them straight yourselves. So you could make them straight enough so they're fine and they will work just fine instead of stripping them again. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna make them all straight. All right, at this point we're gonna install this and all we need is this. I'm just gonna patch up those holes later on. All we have to do is just put these wires through the middle and once we do that, we're just gonna install this. So I'm gonna put it around there. So there we go. And all we have to do is just attach the wires. So for example, this one is R. And I can just push them in right now, just so they're not in the way too much. And what you wanna do is push them in as far as you can, so they're not in the way. If uh, you're still getting too much wire, then what you wanna do is just cut them and just strip them again. What I always suggest is never cutting. It's just push them in as far as you can. And what I gotta do at this point is just, for example, here's my W. Just press this button here. I'm gonna press on it. It's gonna slide in. Slide it as much as you can, then leave it. And this is supposed to stay down. So that's a perfect match. So here we go. What we wanna do is just make these as flush as we can so they're not in the way when we set up everything else. And right now we're almost done. We just have to install this. So you guys will see the sticker. I mean, it's going like that, like so. So that's perfect. And we're just gonna place it on top, like so. And you, you will see that it just clicks in. There we go. So it just clicked in. This wheel's moving around, perfect. Now I do have a hole up here that I need to patch up but that's okay, that's a hole that I need to patch up later. Same goes down here. But again, I suggest just installing like so, it looks better than with the plate itself, but if you have to do the plate, go on and install that plate. And what we have to do at this point, actually, is turn on our power, and we're ready to go. So we're coming down here, we're just gonna turn on the power again. All right, so once you turn on your power, you're gonna see this selection here. For most of you, it's gonna be English. So you can just press on it. Again, I'm just pressing down on it and that's to confirm. So I'm gonna press down on here. That's gonna confirm everything. Um, right here, we can do setup steps. We can do equipment or Nest app. So what we have to do is just press equipment next. Are you on Nest Pro? For most of you, you're just a homeowner. So we're, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Um, right here, this is gonna tell us exactly what's what. And it seems like everything's detected. So we do have our fan, our cooling, heating, and power, which is all that we need. So we're gonna continue on, continue. And again, I'm just pressing down on this. And this is very important. You should know what the fuel is. So if you guys pay a gas bill for your heating, that would be gas or oil, it depends. Or maybe you don't know. So you can choose don't know. To choose what I want, I'm just scrolling this thing. See this disc, it does move around. So I'm just gonna scroll up and then select gas because I know it's gas for me. What type of heating do I have? For me, it's forced air. So I'm just gonna click right there and I'm gonna go into the Nest app. Yes, so we're gonna set that up and we're just gonna continue on. 
because I highly suggest doing this. All right, so once we launch up our Nest app, just go on the top right hand side. If you already have an account and you have something connected, go down and add product. Then you're gonna see this scan QR code. So what we have to do right here is just to go to QR code. I'm gonna go there. We're gonna scan this like so. It's gonna scan it and then we can get started. So start installation right now. It's just gonna go throughout a bunch of stuff here that we already did. So we're just gonna skip all this stuff. It's kind of weird that it does this right now. Not high voltage, next. Do you have any wires, two labels? Nope. Uh, here's it tells us this stuff. So remember what wires we did. So it was R, in my case, um, W, Y, and G. So once I select those, we just go next. Then we're gonna go next. We're gonna go next, 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 because we did all of this stuff already. Continue setup, and here we go. Finally, it's connecting. So this is exactly what we should see. We should see our nest right here, and it should be hooking up to this. With the QR code, it's just easier. You don't have to use the QR code. And this can be done from a tablet or any, well, almost any phone. Right now, we're just gonna select which one makes sense to us. So in my case, it's gonna be tech and design. I'm gonna put in my password. Once I put in my password for my Wi-Fi, it's just gonna hook up. So why does it need my password? Well, this needs access to my Wi-Fi. So that's why it needs my password in order to access it. Once it's connected, then we're gonna continue on with the setup. So at this point, we should see this. It should say, add it to your account, and we're pretty much done. We can just click on more info, but the finishing up process will be on your phone or tablet. We can just go in next. This does depend where you put your thermostat. In this case, it's my living room. For most of you, it's gonna be your living room. It could be your bedroom or anywhere else. Now right here, we're just gonna go into next. I would suggest just leaving it as off. Next again. And right here, it depends. If it's winter, heating, summer, usually cooling. We're gonna go into cooling. We're gonna hit down for now. And right now we should see this right here as well. Your thermostat is now configured your system. So we can continue on. Just press down. Your system's ready, test, has now, blah, blah, blah. So we can go ahead and test now. I always suggest doing that. Again, we're just pressing down on this. Um, what do you want to test? Well, we can test our heating first, although we are doing cooling first, but we have to do everything regardless. So we're just gonna go ahead and test out our heating. We're gonna press down on this. Testing heat wire, yep. All right, so in a few minutes, you should feel some hot air coming out. We're gonna go ahead and press done because everything seems to be good. He turned off, yep, gonna do that. What we want to do next is just test out our cooling. So let's go and hit that and just leave it and check if uh, any cold air in right now is gonna come out of your vents. Obviously wait a few minutes. Once again, if it's working, just press on done. We're just hitting this down by the way. And right now turned off, yep, done. Last thing is our fan, it's awesome. Right now, it just should be regular air coming out. It shouldn't be that cold or too hot. Again, this is just your fan. Now, from what some people have told me, they don't have this option, so not everybody has the fan option. Sounds kind of weird to me, but that's what I've been told. So right now, all we have to do is just hit OK again. The fan has been turned off, perfect. And we can just scroll down. Again, I'm just turning this wheel to scroll down. I'm pressing on it to press done. And we're done, that's it. So right now it's cool set to 24. So at this point I could control this within my Nest app. All right, so I can turn up the heat or turn it down. It depends my cooling system right now. Once I set something up, just press down on this and there we go. You're gonna see settings, calendar, your clock and other settings. So let me just scroll through them. For example, this mode is cool. Right here, this is eco. And right here, this is my fan. So if I want to go into my fan, for example, you just click on it. I can turn to set. So I can set it to an hour, four hours, or so on. What I'm gonna do is just set it as 12 hours. And there we go, 25. So I'm done with that. I can also go into eco mode and I can go ahead and start using eco temperature, which would mean that would keep it Maybe not as cool as you guys like it, or maybe not even as hot as you guys like it. So it's not for everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and start this up. 
I'm gonna go back and I wanna show you more settings. So right here is our modes, so we can change this up. We can go into cool, we can go into heat and cool or off. At this point, I'm just gonna turn it off. And then let's say if I ever want to turn it back on, I can go right here and just turn on anything I like. But again, to turn it off, I can just do that. I can go back, I can go back again. Then if I keep scrolling, I'm gonna see other options. So my settings, we're gonna go into here in just a second. Right here, history, you won't have anything just yet. And your schedule, again, you might not have anything just yet, but you can go into there and just set up a schedule for yourselves. For now, we're just gonna hit done, assuming you guys have some type of schedule. And then we're just gonna go back on this thing. We're just gonna press that off, that's fine. And we're gonna go into our last thing, which is our settings. So once we select that, just press down here. We're gonna go into home always assist. I highly suggest using this for most of you. That means your temperature should go down if you leave the house and then it's gonna start coming back up once you guys are in the house. So it's pretty good to have that. Same thing goes with the cooling thing. We have our safety temperature. This is good to have a minimum or a maximum. So you may not want it to go too high or too low, depending maybe some of your kids may want to touch this. You may want to just set this up. There's other stuff right here that you may want to look at. So just go through everything. You may not want things, for example, in Fahrenheit but Celsius so you can go right here and set it up as Fahrenheit or Celsius so that's where you change it up here's your time your language and your nest app again within your nest app you can do a lot but finally your software should be here if you click on it you should update it so click on it again and it's going to check for the updates so I highly suggest doing this as part of your setup once you're done this, you're all good to go. Just set it up how you like, set up any schedules you like as well. But uh, your app itself should do a lot by itself. Right now, we are done with this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.